I think Google might actually be making some good decisions, which sounds impossible. I know I've kind of made a name for myself on this channel for essentially ranting Google into the inner core and as hard as I possibly can telling you all the things I hate about Google's Pixel lineup, but it almost feels like they're listening. I mean, I recommended the Pixel 4a and I love what they've been doing with their more budget-friendly devices, but now it sounds like they might actually have an end goal for their flagship devices. Let's begin. I know I never really got my hands on the Pixel 5. Some people were asking me to, but the phone just seemed so meh that I didn't think I would have many insightful opinions on reviewing the actual phone, but I think it's gotten a lot of people excited because Google has this unique advantage here to truly go up against Apple in a way that no one else really can because while Google in their hardware department has not always knocked it out of the park and in my opinion, they seem to kind of fall back on, well, we have artificial intelligence and we have machine learning, so we don't need the best specs in the world and yet they want to charge similar pricing to that of all of the Android competitors out there but the most popular ones whether they're Samsung or OnePlus always try to infuse their own software onto what is fundamentally a Google platform that is Android so whether it's Samsung or OnePlus they do their best to emulate stock Android but among the Android community we still see time and time again a lot of people going towards the pixel or a lot of people preferring the pixel because they know that that's software and hardware integration is matched there. You have software that's designed by the same company that's making the hardware, and the Pixels get all of these unique features, whether it be duplex or putting the call on hold and letting you know when the phone call is no longer just playing annoying background music, or having the Shazam functionality work in the background, and of course having the Google camera in its insane image processing. There's a bunch of advantages the Pixel phones have, it's just they're always dumbed down by pretty weak hardware or specs that aren't that impressive, that that's why a lot of people overshadow them and would much rather go with a OnePlus or a Samsung. But I would absolutely love to see Google's attempt at actually making an all out great specifications, fantastic cameras with all of the software exclusives and Google going back into that $1,000 department, except this time, you know, we try a different method called the right way. And you actually have three to four lenses that can rival that of your competitors. You actually have a decent battery life and hopefully some silicon that can actually age pretty well. And it sounds like there's some development in this field, which has me a little bit excited, to be honest. Now, Google appears to be making moves at developing their own silicon, which the CEO even teased during the earnings call last fall, saying that they have a plans on making some deeper investments into hardware, which a lot of people were expecting that to be Google silicon. And now, 9to5Google's even reporting on this. Its code name is Whitechapel. I don't know where they get these things, but apparently, as soon as the end of this year, Google could be actually developing their own chips and dropping Qualcomm entirely. And I think that Qualcomm Snapdragon chips have always been kind of a weaker point when arguing between iOS and Android, knowing that Apple Silicon is so fast and so efficient that Google developing their own chips is kind of the right way to go because that's how you can get off this annual Snapdragon refresh, which I always thought was one of the biggest disadvantages of the Pixels was they always love dropping their phones at the very end of the Snapdragon release cycle. So the flagship Pixel would come out and then like three months later, it would be outdated because Qualcomm would unveil some new Snapdragon chip. And I don't know why Google always wanted to unveil their phones then, but if they were switching to their own custom silicon, that could be extremely power efficient, allow for some offline dictation, some improvements to the Google Assistant, like they're already so proud of with certain dictation features working really well offline with the Pixel brand. And if they had more complete control head to toe of their hardware, I think they could actually save some of that cost and put it towards better hardware, whether it be high refresh rate displays, not just 90 hertz sometimes, I mean 120 hertz all the time, and still be high resolution and actually have an ultra wide lens, a regular lens, a telephoto. Imagine pixel grade image processing, but with space telephoto levels of zoom and knowing that pixel would have all kinds of unique software exclusives that other companies, whether it be Samsung or OnePlus could not match. This is something that could actually be a comparable iPhone competitor because Google has 
has the resources and the tech potentially to make something that they design from inside out. They design the software, they design the hardware, and they do have a few advantages currently. They're just hold back, I think, a lot by their third party requirements. And finding out that they are developing their own silicon, I would say is a step in the right direction. And I must say that them kind of giving up on the high end flagship market was probably the right call because they weren't getting too many people interested in the hand gestures on the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 3 XL was one of the ugliest phones I'd ever seen and Pixel 5 was eh, but even that's starting to approach more mid-range pricing. Most Pixels sold right now are the 4A and the 4A with 5G as they call it, which the 4A, I won't lie, is just a terrifically affordable phone and I would genuinely recommend it to a lot of people in my personal life and I think it's a great device, but if Google was getting into their own custom silicon market, that would actually make them a worthy contender to go up against OnePlus and Samsung because right now I feel like they really aren't. They need the hardware and it seems like they're putting energy into that field and as the silicon improves with time and hopefully can start to rival or surpass the silicon that Apple develops, I know that sounds impossible and it's been considered sacrilegious to even bring up that possibility here, but keep in mind all Apple's really doing is paying enough to the right people. So if Google's got the money, they could potentially poach Apple employees or develop silicon just as good as Apple. And hopefully with the A line of Pixel phones that are more affordable, they could eventually start incorporating their own silicon, which could be maybe not as powerful, but more power efficient. And another great piece of advice I would recommend to the Pixel team is if you're designing your own silicon and you're gonna give some software exclusives to your own custom phones that you're not gonna be providing to OnePlus and Samsung, then also promise like many, many years of software software support because that's another huge critical issue I have with Android phones being, you know, the cost of iPhones is because most of the time it's going to stop getting software updates in like three years. And after that, it's at best only going to get a few security patches. Whereas if Google had their own in-house design silicon and was promising certain software advantages to that, yeah, promise that if you buy the Pixel 6 with the Google One chip, you're going to get at least five years of software updates that other Android phones aren't going to get. I know you guys all want me to hate Google, but at the end of the day, I think it's important to remember to be optimistic and hopefully productive with your criticism. And hopefully they can take a lot of what people have requested about them and actually implement it in their hardware. Because I do think that a Google design from the ground up device would be pretty impressive and actually start approaching iPhone alternative for a lot of people. If they knew that there would be that same level of integration that they can get on an iPhone. But I'm curious what you guys think. Feel free to let me know down below. This is your Apple Sheep here. So I'm still not going to switch to Pixel no matter what. And I'll see you in the next one.